thinking about, I, I loved what you said about the way you feel because I'm sitting here, I have tingly, and you know, tingles in my stomach. I don't know if anybody else does yeah. this weekend, but I always feel that way when I get around a group of people who share those common goals. Uh, my story is goes way back 17 years. I've actually been involved in network marketing and home-based business for 17 years. It'll be 17 years in January. And six years into it, or 11 years ago, I actually found the internet. Um, it's kind of funny, I felt like a late bloomer at that time to the internet, and now I realize I kind of was a pioneer. It's kind of weird. Um, I didn't feel that way at the time, for sure. Uh, but it opened up this whole range of possibilities to me. I had, I had little, little children, I had a, a, a preschooler and a kindergartner at that time, and now they're 18 and 15, and I'm only 25. <laughs> <laughs> develop that gangster income, because I don't know, how many of you are or have been involved in network marketing? Oh good, okay, so you can relate. You know, I've gone through my network market, I was working B&I in the Chamber of Commerce and doing all that with a husband who's an airline pilot, which means he's gone half the month, home half the month too, but gone half the month, and you know, just trying to work out all of that with little children who I didn't want to put in daycare, I, I, would, I just realized I wasn't going to get there doing it that way. <coughs> really leverage myself with time, geography, and all that other stuff. I mean, I just, there were, there were no limitations thanks to the internet. But it was challenging too because of network marketers, I'm sure there were people out there, 11, I know there were people out there who were using it, but nobody was sharing their secrets or selling any of their stuff like they are today to teach you how to do it. And again, you know, I felt like that was a disadvantage. Now I feel like it was kind of an advantage because I got taught by true internet marketers Got all the hype and <laughs> a lot of the other stuff that you guys can relate to that Mike's done such a great job of bringing to the forefront. Uh, but that's so that's a little of my story. Um, but I, like like Stephen talked about and Mike, I mean, literally 11 years ago. Well, at that time, my biggest fear is that Y2K was going to come along and wipe out everything that I had done. I mean, it was October of '99, and I kept thinking, Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose everything. I'm, you know, everything's going to blow up. The internet. And I've wasted all this time. Uh, but as you all know, we're all here. 11 years later, and it, that didn't happen, and my websites kept going, and they were very uh, old-fashioned and, and awful looking, but you know, you have to start somewhere, you know, to, and I, I started with those, and, and I took a few chances. Uh, how many of you have heard of Jonathan Mizell? So, some of you have. Uh, he was a big internet marketer at that time, and I bought some of his training materials, and I got really bold, and I emailed him and asked him if he'd take a look at my site and evaluate it. And, he immediately wrote me back and said, I don't like network marketing. Don't try to pitch me on your deal. Oh, God. I said, I'm not, I'm not. I just need some help. He actually then called me, spent 90 minutes on the phone with me, taught me the value in a list, developing a list. He said, you've got to start writing a list, you know, a newsletter. You've got to develop a list. And I was like, oh, just a stay-at-home mom, two kids here. What am I going to write about? But that really taught me the value of a list. So anyway, all that to say, over time, I mean, for those of you who struggle with what's the whole big picture going to look like, when I came to Marketing Funnel Mastery in June, um, something that Mike said really s struck me. I thought, oh good, somebody finally put it into words, and that is you don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to know all the how-tos. Write out that funnel. Write out exactly what your dream is and what you want to accomplish, and everything will show up as you need it to. It definitely will, and it'll come in its own timing. Um, being 11 years online, I've watched what a lot of people have done in a lot faster time than me, and I thought, gosh, you know what's wrong with me? I haven't said. I just finally. I developed a few ebooks over the last couple of years, but in April, I got my little behind kicked into gear and developed my first CD sets, my, my training sets, because I got invited to go speak uh, with a couple of other speakers, and they they kept saying, "Well, where do you make all your money? Is in your back of the room sales?" And I was like, "What's a back of the room sale? What is that?" Because <laughs> <laughs> you know your CDs and DVDs, and all your products, and I was like, "Oh, well." I've got about six weeks. I guess I better get a product developed. But I had content from, you know, 10 yes, years worth right. of stuff. It's just pulling it together. And it's really, you know, just having the faith in yourself and the knowledge that you have and knowing that there's a target audience out there for you anywhere. Uh, so I did that, and that kind of launched me. All right, I can develop my own products and do all that. And they're actually selling. And I will tell you, for those of you in network marketing or anything else, selling somebody else's stuff, even signing people up in a business is great. But when somebody buys your, your stuff, oh my gosh, it must be like crack. I don't know. It's very addictive because it just gives it like, oh, you bought my stuff. You know, you bought my stuff. It's, it's very exciting. Anyway.
anyway, so that's a little of my story up to this point. Now, I will tell you, I had never heard of Mike Klingler until about, well, when did Renegade Pro launch? April? Two and a half years ago. April of 2009. No, the, the actual public, public launch. 2009. Two and a half years ago. I thought it was November. April 9th. April 9th, that's what I thought. Yeah. Well, so it was just, it was not too long before that that it even came on the radar for me. And I'm like, wow, who, who's this Mike Klingler? What's this Renegade Pro? I had heard of Anseek, I knew of um, the Renegade Marketer, I, I knew of some of that type stuff, but it kind of, kind of came out of nowhere. I got on the list and I started paying attention, and I really liked it. I loved his style of teaching because it was very understandable, it was in plain English, he didn't talk over the heads of people, and I felt kind of advanced, honestly, just because I had been doing it for so long, and I was green to start with. If you think in 99 that I knew anything about the internet, I didn't. I didn't know what a domain name was, a URL. I didn't know what an autoresponder was for six months. I literally thought somebody was sitting there writing back to me instantly. I was really <laughs> impressed. And who mentioned Brad Weidman? Who was I talking to that mentioned Brad? He's the one who taught me about autoresponders. <laughs> I mean, I just, you know, it's like pure magic. It's like, wow, people just sit there at 2 in the morning ready to respond to the email. Duh. I really am a brunette. <laughs> Get the dream out there, get the vision, work on that funnel, and all the rest of it will show up. 